How's everybody doing this morning? This afternoon? It is Sunday. It has been a uh, crazy week with this hurricane stuff coming through. Um, you know, obviously it didn't hit Houston. Uh, thank God. I uh, feel bad for everybody in Louisiana. Our prayers and thoughts go out to everybody over there. Hopefully everybody's getting what they need and uh, everybody got out safe as quickly as they could. Um, today we're gonna be working around the garage, doing some stuff. Uh, I got a new product in that I wanna try out that I'm real excited about. Um, and I will uh, take you all around and show you that. Um, it is love bug season. I opened the garage door and there was just like a swarm of freaking love bugs coming in my garage. So that was kind of kind of weird, but yeah, we'll be working in the garage today and just doing some stuff, hanging out, taking it easy. It's so freaking hot already, so. All right, everybody, so I found this product on Amazon. It's called the Wonder Winder. I'm very excited about this product uh, because I have it. Uh, I have one plug in my entire garage. I have a plug right there by the, uh, the refrigerator and the freezer, and everything else is daisy chained going around. And I thought about bringing some conduit in and bringing some more plugs in, and I can do that. Um, I just haven't done it. Um, but uh, this is going to help out for anything that like if I'm using like my, my edger or my uh, my pruner, I can just bring it on right out here. Um, and this is a cool little tool uh, to wind up your extension cord really nicely. So, I'm going to unbox this for you all. Alright, so i got the Wonder Winder and basically what it is, it's a... A uh, cool little device that you can hang your extension cord and plug it in and you can wind it up and just pull it out so we're gonna get that a simple thing I'm gonna put it on the wall over here by my fishing rods and stuff that way it's easy to get in and out when I'm doing the stuff in the garage so we'll go through the parts and uh, let's see and once again I'm suffering for YouTube I have uh, uh, no fans on and it is a hundred freaking degrees outside so that's nice uh, so be sure to point out how sweaty I am right now. Uh, so we got the crank and I guess you can put it on either side. Not that. The crank. This is the crank. Put it going in. This, I'll, I'm right handed so I'll put it on the right side. And uh, let's see. Alright so I think I figured it out. So you got to put this in first. This is the drive wheel as they call it so that goes in there I can fit it. all right fits in there like that and then like I said I'm right-handed so this will go right here just like so and we'll take that cap again it says a bearing on here, but I don't see another bearing. Oh, those, they're already in there, I guess. Okay. So that goes right here on this side. There we go. And I'll take this. Yeah, I might be totally screwing this up. Hopefully not, though. This looks like a really cool idea when I saw it on Amazon. But we shall see. I might screw this whole thing up. And as you can see, I am sweating profusely right now. Okay. That is super tight. Supposed to be that tight? It's really tight. I guess I can always adjust it. I 
guess I can always do some of that. Some more. That's better. Oh yeah, we're good. Just loosen it up a little bit. I guess now we take this little pivot pin that, with a wonder winder. Now we take it in there. Just put it here in these little holes that line up. Ow. Okay. So I guess that's like a break. Put on that. I don't know why you would need a break on this. Um, that's is what it is, I guess. So that goes there. All right. All right. So it came with these Phillips head screws. Uh, it's 2020. Manufacturers stop sending these Phillips head screws. I don't use them. I use Power Pro or Deckmate. Uh, Phillips head screws are so 1990. Um, so we got it mounted up here. And uh, that's where I had my old TV mounted. Um, that's why it, there's those other holes. See, I'm putting it in here and it's not really twisting to the spot that it's supposed to go. I wonder if I missed something. There we go, it snaps right in. Boom. All right, that's cool. And uh, I'm sure this will straighten out once I get everything put in so i actually got a hundred foot extension cord that i got in my truck i'm gonna put it in here and we'll try it out all right so you take the prong end of the cord and you put it over the wheel so I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take it in there, put it over the wheel, and drop it down low. So that's gonna go into the net just like so. And then you come up, pull that through. And I guess, so that's going through, plugged in. All right, now let's see what we gotta do. Um, So it came with this little guy right here. This is called the cord anchor. So we'll take it and we'll put it on this top on the net and now on the cord. So I put this on the net and this goes on the cord. It's gonna sit just like so. And I guess you can snug this up. All right, so I read the instructions. So once you got enough down here, you will push back on this, right? The, the yoke as they call it. And once you do that, it'll put some tension on the cord. All right, so like I said, put tension right here, put tension right there and wind it up. So just like this. Put the tension on it and make sure you got all the kinks and everything out and then it should roll it up just like that. I really like how it winds it up like a snake like that. So I'm going to pull it all the way out and I'm going to do it again. Yep. 
the, uh, the biggest thing I notice is that you got to get the kinks out. Uh, get the kinks and all the knots out of your cord before you go ahead and start pulling on this. So like I said, take your hand, push the wonder winder clutch or whatever they call it, and just get to winding. So as far as the Wonder Winder goes, uh, I like it, I like it a lot. Um, this is gonna probably be something I use, you know, every other day, especially when my days off, when I'm doing stuff in the yard, or in, to, to especially like use like my vacuum in my truck, or to use like my hedge clippers, or to use uh, my pressure washer. I didn't think about that. My pressure washer. Um, it's just a cool little product, and I like how neat and organized. Because usually I have to. It's a pain in the butt to go and get all the knots and stuff out, especially a 100 foot extension cord. Um, it's a pain uh, dealing with that. Um, this looks like it keeps it pretty neat and it comes out in one fluid motion. Uh, so I would give the product uh, an A, A plus so far. The instructions I'd probably give like a B minus. Um, and then as far as these Phillips head screws, like I said, it's, it's 2020. I hate Phillips head screws. I hate flathead screws. Give me Torx. Uh, give me Allen heads, shoot, anything like that. Um, but uh, overall, I'll give it an A. And I'll do an Amazon review and I will put the link for this product. This will make a cool stocking stuffer uh, for your dad or your, uh, your brother, your uncle, your brother in law. Um, this is something anybody could use. I mean, my wife could do this, my sister could, I mean, a woman could use it, anybody could use it. Um, I really like this product so far. And uh, if I have any problems in the future with like the basket or anything ripping, I will make sure to uh, to follow up on that. Uh, but as far as I can say, I'd give it a uh, give it an A plus. Also, oh, I didn't even mention this. It came with uh, an additional mount. It came with like an additional mount that you could use if you didn't want to use the pile of plastic one uh, that I use. So that's pretty neat. Uh, so if y'all like this video, please give me a like, subscribe. We'll be giving more product videos like this in the future. Um, and uh, follow Noak Farms on Instagram. And until then, we'll see you next time.